Okay guys, so uh, in the last video, I think that uh, I uploaded a video because I was excited that the engine was making uh, pretty intelligent decisions and my search my search um, algorithm was actually functioning properly and my evaluation was functioning and I was really happy. But, um, well, it's been about a week since then, I think, and I've made huge progress on the engine. So, um, I, I mean, I just thought I would... Go ahead and make a video show, showing you what's up. The um, the main things I've added. So what it has, it has um, MVV LVA move ordering, which is um, basically a way of ordering the moves when you call get all possible moves on a specific position. The moves are returned in a list that has the uh, most valuable. V, and I forget what V means, and then least valuable attacker. Most valuable victim, least valuable, valuable attacker. So the way it's sorted is captures come first, and according to the uh, the value of the victim. So if it's a queen, it's before... If a queen's being captured, it comes before a rook being captured, which comes before a knight, which comes before a pawn. And then if there's two moves that capture a queen, the one that comes first is a pawn capturing a queen. So what this does is it just sort of serves to guess at um, you know, at what moves are going to be the best moves so that we search those first, get our alpha and beta values set so that we have more cutoffs. But the, um, of course it's not perfect. There's going to be great moves that come at the very end, but this doubled the speed of the program and it didn't affect the, uh, the results of the search at all. So in my book, that's a pretty big uh, improvement. The thing I have is no move forward pruning. And I'm going to make a video about each of these in the future. So no move forward pruning is... Actually, if I can show you the code right here, and when I click this thing, will go away. But this is the null move section of the search. And what it is is, I hate when people say what it is is, and I just said it, sorry. It is a optimization technique that when evaluating a position, it first um, inputs a null move. So basically, it skips its turn, gives control over to the other team, and runs a search. So basically saying, if I do nothing here, what can the opponent do? And if the opponent can do something really bad, it continues on with a normal search. But if the opponent cannot do anything that will that will change the uh, the alpha value, then it um it can cut off that whole branch of the search, knowing that it's it's um it's going to be irrelevant. So that's a huge speed improvement too, the null move. And um, that search algorithm itself is a uh, is an alpha beta is a negamax search, but it uses alpha beta pruning, which I'll make a video on that too. It's all all exciting stuff. And then uh, the biggest thing that it does that doesn't improve speed at all, but um, improves the playing strength by like I don't know, maybe 10, 15 times is the quiescent quiescence search. Let's let's do this right. Um, what this does is when it gets to the uh, specified depth as far as the search is going to go. Instead of just evaluating the position and returning a value, it uh, it continues searching down until there are no capture moves available. So it asks for all the capture moves, makes all the capture moves, and then keeps searching all those lines until there are no more capture moves, and then returns the value of that line. So what this does is it fixes the horizon problem. Uh, classic horizon problem is uh, this guy mediocre chess. He, he made a chess engine and blogged his uh, his whole progress, kind of like I'm doing, except I haven't blogged the engine creation as well as I should have. But um, check out his website too if you're interested in this kind of thing. It's really great. But I'll find his, uh, his quiescence. Quiescence. Quiescent search in the horizon effect. So you have this position here. And if the engine is only looking one ply deep, White's turn, right? So white takes the pawn. If it's only looking one ply deep, it thinks it gets the pawn, it'll make the move. 
If it looks two plies deep, it sees itself losing a rook. It will not make the move. Three plies deep, it sees itself up a rook. Ooh, make the move. Four plies deep, it's down a rook. Don't make the move. So that's the horizon effect. Basically, depending on how deep you go, you can you can you know get into some trouble. So what the quiescent search would do is it would search this, and then if that was at the required depth, it would say, okay, are there any more captures to be made? If so, it'll thoroughly search the rest of that line until it's a quiet position. That's where the term quiescence comes from. So until we get to a quiet position, and then it returns the value. So as you might imagine, that, that adds a huge chunk onto your calculation time, especially in a middle game where there's lots of lots of possible captures and things, but it, uh, and it increases the playing strength tenfold so big uh, big improvement there I'm gonna cut off the video right now uh, this was just sort of an overview um, the next couple videos the next one will be a uh, a match of the engine on its toughest difficulty against a match with the engine on a uh, on a really low depth so that'll be uh, pretty interesting to watch yeah Not tonight. Um, yeah, and then after that I'll make a series explaining all the different search methods that the engine uses and methods I'm going to implement. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for the next couple of videos because they're going to be pretty